very shortly. And then to get back up over 270, maybe a Pennsylvania, that's certainly in his sights to continue flipping reliably or what used to be reliably Democrat states. For Joe Biden, his path also, I think, heavily dependent on the upper Midwest. He's gonna try to pull back Wisconsin in the Democratic column, pull back Michigan from 2016, maybe Pennsylvania, that could get him back over. Or Joe Biden could also try to stake a claim to some of those fast growing Sun Belt states. If he gets Georgia, North Carolina, or even Florida, maybe a more comfortable margin of victory. That's the way to watch tonight. Up through the upper Midwest and through the Sun Belt, lots of battleground. Anthony, I want to return back to Georgia. That is a state that has closed at this hour. Let's put that board back up and tell us what you know about the state of Georgia. That is a ruby red state. And boy, Joe Biden, mm -hmm. that campaign spent a lot of time trying to flip it blue. They did. It is a toss-up at the moment, Nora. So mm -hmm. what we see out of Georgia at the moment is we're waiting for votes to come in. We're waiting for votes to come in. So you don't see any votes here yet. But as they come in, I'll tell you what we're going to watch very carefully, and that is going to be the Atlanta suburbs, the area around Atlanta, because all of those counties, fast-growing metropolitan area, this is a place that has been trending towards the Democrats for the last couple of cycles. If Joe Biden is going to win Georgia, he's going to have to run up the score in metro Atlanta. All right, and thank you, Anthony. Each of us